Okay, so this is a quick demonstration about uh, the shock, uh, the shock balloon. Oh, there is somebody talking. This is a. Uh, uh, since I'm moving to Southeast Asia, so the, the main issue here we have this is uh, there is a lot of solar panel everywhere. Everywhere there is uh, in a neighborhood. I think uh, all the different house uh, close to my area they have at least uh, two or three. Uh, solar panel since they are using the solar panel mostly to charge battery for you know outside the light system so this is a no video yeah this is a with the shock the shock uh, balloon the cmc uh, without the cmc sorry i'm terribly sorry so the noise level for example on uh, 40 meters band is terrible terrible and it's uh, only uh, during night time when the solar panel are off um, I have no issue, uh, but uh, during daytime it's uh, simply terrible. So this is uh, the long wire antenna without any uh, any shock. So give me two or three minutes. I'm going uh, upstairs, uh, removing the uh, put in line the the shock uh, the shock balloon, and you will see the difference. So yeah, so I'm back. Sorry for that, guys. So now this is the with the shock uh, in line with uh, the coaxial. So you can imagine uh, without any shock uh, balloon, so I will be not able to uh, perform some uh, uh, amateur radio activity, especially on 40 meters band. Other band is quite okay. 14 sometimes without the shock. On the 20 meters, sorry, uh, without the shock, I have some issue, but not as serious as the 40 meters band. So this is a, just a, a quick test. So this is just to demonstrate to you the utility to have a, a shock uh, in line with uh, your coaxial for your antenna. So my base 73, this is a Victor 85 November Papa Victor going on QRT 73. Bye bye.